Good morning, Gina here from Blackfish Arts Tasmania again. Um, I was just talking in my newsletter, which is about to go out, about the monoprinting um, fun I've been having this last month in the studio. These are some pieces I've put aside, either for use or some uh, completed prints, which I really enjoyed playing with. Um, so I'll just go through them quickly to show you um, and some pages I've been working on, I'm still working on, but I've created a concertina book which I'll show you at the end of this. So I was exploring grasses, um, I just like this, this piece um, with the random colours across it still exploring the grasses and um, playing with those shapes and background colours. Again, grasses and some kind of flower heads or grass heads on black paper. It's a nice one. Playing with the shapes of daffodils. Uh, snowball trees, so I've got the negative here and the positive. So uh, working, you can see it's a small plate I'm working on. Two flower heads um, on top of inked plate. And this is the one where you've put the sheet on over the flower heads and you're rubbing the ink up, the paint up. Then you pick the flowers off, um, having cleaned the plate around the flower heads and you're printing the positive which I love the little bits of white space coming through I could probably work with that as an idea later picking bits of the areas of flower off so the white spaces are bigger I like that one again just looking at the shapes and we're on an old book page um, the shape of a plant when I've rubbed the ink around it and then we're getting to prints um, so these look like the hydrangea leaves I like this opposite um, orientation of the leaves layering trials enjoying again the space around plants the negative negative space, I really like. Uh, the detail coming through, so learning how much ink to put on the plate and not put, and how high, this is a, this plant is quite a high, so trying to get the ink around, from around it. Um, I've got the shadow of a a hellebore in there with the grasses, playing with the idea of the grasses and colours. A bit of layering again. This has just turned out to be a pattern that I quite like with the colours in the background and previous um, ghost prints and then shaped flowers in the white, leaving the blue and ghost behind to shape. Um, playing with, what was this, a uh, lilium. Uh, the colours, some of the design elements and the layering is what I like. Uh, Aquilegia and its leaves. This leftover residue on the plate, this is so pretty. This is on um, Sanders water, water fit paper watercolour uh, 200 GSM. This is a one-off print I think. I might go in and enhance with white some areas. Shall do that. Just pretty and um, don't ask me how I did it but I can see with all the layering of the colours this was a roll-off sheet but this is 300 GSM watercolour paper. Um, and the final turned out very pretty. Playing with that hellebore, I loved the shape on the plate as it was squashed down 
and I kept going so um, this will be a vinyl print as well, a one-off. Very nice. So this is a print, this is a digital print, playing with the shape of the plate and the hellebore on, on the um, negative. And another print, pretty. <clears throat> and this one also a lovely print. So this is also on um, 300 GSM. Um, playing with grasses, and this these are little flower heads from a, a cactus I've got. Very nice. I love the colour of that too. And uh, some really successful strips here, again, of the same plants, different print, or a different orientation, but using the same plants, going for black and white, and the iris. I may come in with some ink and just finish off some areas, and there my snowball tree with more white in between. This is because I used less ink. Pretty though, I like it. And then I have a fancy strip here of many, many layers, which I'm loving. Many layers of plants and grasses, colors, there you go. Um, and for me, it's probably this way around. Um, but the other side is a washout. Um, I can bring this back to life um, by more layers, but I'm thinking I might like um, to use this side for book covers. So, front and back, and front and back. So the size of the book will obviously be the square format, or um, the height will be that anyway, because you could have so that. Uh, this one I'm just loving for its abstract nature and it's a very painterly. It's also still got some grasses stuck on it because I left it on the plate overnight. Quite liking that. Uh, it's the colours that work and the abstraction and a bit of a design going on. That's an old piece too. Uh, so that's on arches, and then let me, let me move these out of the way, and then I can show you the booklet I made. So working on the premise um, of many layers um, on uh, Saunders Waterford in those strips. I worked in those strips and created the layering, and then. Um, folded the strips and joined them with a hinge stitch so that I've now got this concertina booklet. Um, covers are another story and another problem to solve as I've finished this whole book. Created with the layering. Some areas are much more successful than others. So this side seems to have come up nicely. Colours and shapes, pairing. So this, it looks to me, this side of the strips are really successful in layering and colour and pulling together as a booklet while the other side is less areas of it, like areas of it are successful, like those, um, where other areas, so looking at that as a whole is nice, this is nice, um, so that's fine as a transition between the two nice ones. Uh, this one, I would have liked this more resolved, 
We've got a bit of a transition going on here again, and this one seems unresolved to me at this stage. Um, so, looking at that, as I'm talking to you, I'm thinking I will go in and spot work. So just work on some areas that need a resolution. Um, so along here, maybe even get rid of that. Overlay it with something else. Quite like in that page. Again, work this one. And maybe even maybe even this whole section. So I think I'll do that. Um, it is the layering and the keeping going that um, becomes the most successful, I think. Okay, well, thanks for watching. It's Gina here from Blackfish Arts Tasmania. Um, do find our blog and subscribe or like and like. Um, our Facebook, that'd be great. Thanks for watching. Bye.